M0 FXB, welcome back to the channel. This is the Hack RF board with the Porter Pack, which is the top bit that you see. The board can just be plugged to a PC, and uh, the idea is that you can hack into all these different kind of frequencies. It's an SDR receiver, but it does, you know, everything you can think of, like key locks, APRS, ham radio, uh, just hey, just literally everything you can think of, yeah? So today I'm just gonna add a speaker, because when you get it, you have to actually use 3.5 jack, but, oh look at that, SDRs come to life. So, um, we need to take these four screws off here. There is a little connector just about, where is it? I'm pretty sure that's the one there. Okay, so we'll take the antenna off, obviously turn it off. The way you turn the Hack RF on and off is you literally just press twice and it goes off, we hope. Yeah, there you go. Press one, it comes on, and it comes on virtually instantly. There's a, there's a battery in there, it doesn't actually look that big, but it does last. Okay, Mayhem is the sort of firmware that everyone uses. And so let's just turn it off and then get these four screws off. You also need to, with the, you've got the antennas at the bottom are actually clock antennas. Uh, that's a bit of learning to do on that. They're like clock antennas. Uh, the, the main antenna that you'll be using is here. And you can buy this kit with lots of, uh, lots of separate antennas, even, you know, 2.5 gig, 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, 5.8. Then you've got two meters, seven, it goes right up to 1200 megahertz. And so it co covers so many bands and it sort of views that information in so many different ways, sometimes with audio, sometimes visually. You can receive APRS, you can receive packets, POCSAC messages, POCSAC messages from, from all kinds of stuff. So it's just, it's an endless list, li list of tinkering. Yeah, it looks a bit like a, a joystick there, doesn't it? So I'll just take these screws off, uh, screws on both sides, and then we'll see if we can just get to that connector for the speaker. I've got two choices. This is the bigger one. I'd say that's more an external speaker. Um, and then I've got this tiny little thing here, which I might just pop inside just for now. Okay. So the four screws are off. These just pull off these buttons. So I don't know why they didn't just fit a little, you know, speaker in there. I mean, it's so small. They may as well have done if you ask me. Um, but they didn't so and it's not that's not actually a cheap item. They're about 150 quid. I can't get that one off There you go four off still got the screen cover on there as well look. Um, See if that knob pulls off. I don't want to crack this case although I'm sure that it doesn't look like an expensive case So let's pull this knob off. Yeah, a bit of a yank, but yeah, that's come off there. So that's Let's just see if that just lifts off yeah, so if I take off the, that's the top cover. It does look very, you know, they've used the right colors. You can get these in a black metal case, which I'm, which I also like the idea of that as well. So turn it over now, and we'll take these four screws off now as well. Just here, and then these were literally finger tight, these things, we'll take them off as well. There are spaces in between here as well that we need to, that will fall down as well. Okay. I think the most awkward things to get back in are going to be those, those brass bars there. But it looks, seems to be lifting from the front now. I'll just gradually ease it back. So. There's our connector just here. It'd be nice to be able to connect to that without having to take the board to pull the board apart. I'd rather not. So we'll just have a little fiddle and see if we can. See so in the end I sort of wiggled, pulled it up both this side, then I turned it all the way around and pulled it up this side and eventually it did just, you have to sort of just ease it and it did come apart. As you can see. So look at the battery, yeah. So this is actually the Porter Pack. Wow, All right, you can see why it costs a few quid. It's got a battery there to keep time, memory, that kind of thing. So yeah, it looks well made. You've got to be careful, I would say, that one of the things to worry about is that microphone. And they're very low power devices, these, like almost like milliamps. Look, this was made September um, 2023, so not that long ago, really. So there's your SD card there, look. 
you need that to, to load up some new functions and and it's uh, yeah so let's just have a quick look at the actual main board this is what they call the hack rf1 as you can see a couple of years old and this sort of evolved over years i you know the the way that this looks now when you buy these they look with the porter pack and the screen and all that it just looks uh, very you know futuristic but the initial design when this connected to your pc was very basic looking not in functionality but um, just had this blue screen, but it opened up all these different things with software that you could do. So anyway, so the, we're going to connect this speaker. I'm hoping that one of the speakers I've got will fit. Because this connector is a lot bigger. And I'm hoping that this one <laughs> isn't too small and it will just squeeze in in there. So it looks to me like when the connector goes in, it's going to go in that way round. So the pins are lower down. Quite hard to show, but see the pins, they're, they're, they're nearer the board. Well, it looks like it's the right one. I pushed them in. You know, you're always wider, you're gonna break things off the board. There's plenty of room for it just to sit there. I'm not worried about having room where it's gonna sit. I'm just a bit sticky anyway. Um, I don't want anything metallic to short anything out, so I'll probably put something around it so it can't short anything out. I think that's sensible because that is that part there is metallic. So let's put it back together. You can't really get it wrong putting it back together. There's three very clear blocks there. One, two, three. So it's it's definitely gonna go like so. I want to get it right and then we'll actually turn it on gently press it together oh I'm scared of breaking the screen and the buttons it's like I hate doing things like this it's just things break and I have over the years broke many things so I'm pushing on the screen now. I don't want to push on the screen. The way you can push on the screen, so just really be careful. Okay, so let's push once. It turns on, and then we'll select radio. So we just press the middle button. Uh, go to receive audio, and then. We're not hearing anything. So, oh, I just turn the audio off there. Okay, it has worked. So, someone chatting away there on our tiny little speaker. It is too small, but I'll get, you know, I'll get one that's recommended. That's Wide FM. Bandwidth there. All right, well, let me play. So obviously I'm gonna put it back together in reverse order. Thanks for watching my video so far. I mean, there's so much that you can, I need to learn on this. Uh, I'll be doing like, there's 50 functions that I need to learn. So step by step we'll do it. We'll put it all back together. Catch you on future videos, 7-3.